Now, uh, now that we've got a base profile, um, top and bottom, we're going to do the side profile. There's my side profile template uh, I mentioned earlier. And we are going to line that up and we're going to make some notes on it. Let's start from this way. And you can see how this, we're going to make some reference points. And it's very much the same process. A flexible piece of paper probably would have been very good. And we're basically sketching out the neck at the moment. And the peg board, as it were, on this instrument, the pegboard is a flat pegboard. It's not a carved pegboard. And we can connect those dots later. Now you'll notice here, it appears that the profile is deeper, or bigger than the piece of wood based off of the distance between here and here. But in reality, when I put this in, See if I can move this out for you. You'll see that the profile still doesn't come all the way to the wood. So that means that as I cut from here to here in a bowl shape, I'll still be able to get that shape. That's not a problem. What I want to do, however, which is very important, is take our widest point here. Level that flat there and cause that there. So, so then what I will start doing is chipping away. Let's make sure we can see that. Yep. I'll start chipping away this and this. And once I have a profile cut from the center 